Miles away, Lin sits above his quarry as well. Only today, a rare jewel approaches the bait. It's a black sable. Rarely seen and even rarer still is the fact that Lin's trying to spear one. But Lin is patient and he gives the sable time to relax. The tender alfalfa is too good to ignore and the black giant finally steps directly under the danger. Sable a couple times. He came in tonight and looked around, had a good sniff, and we thought he busted us, and he walked away, and then he came back in, and he was right underneath me for a while. He came in, he stuck his head out. I could see his horns, but I didn't have a shot. Then he moved in a little deeper. It may be a good broad wise, uh, broadside shot of his, of his back. Big wide thing like that. And I picked up my spear. It's hard to thread that seven foot through spear through all these trees and stuff. But I picked up my Sempuru spear. And I hit him a good one. I hit him a good one. That's a good shot. Finally, it's time to track Lynn's black sable. And after reviewing the footage, it shouldn't be far along the trail. Whew, what a, it's a beautiful animal. It's fine. Probably my favorite trophy in Africa is the sable. They're just so beautiful. Spear hunting is lethal and humane and a huge challenge and a lot of fun. It's pretty darn exciting. Okay, we're gonna go on the follow-up now of my sable I speared. We think he's really hard hit. We could see him go out of ways with the spear in him. And he made a lot of bellowing and, and a lot of noise. So we think we're gonna come up with him shortly. And as you can see, it's covered with blood right up at the flipping cone. We followed the spore over to here. We had two good tracking dogs and we didn't have to go far when we found the spear. It's coated with blood. Uh, my hopes are, are, are pretty high right now. We're gonna cover this uh, sable fairly easily. Lynn gives him another one to be safe, but the sable dead. is dead. Lynn, you've speared a giant. Congratulations, old buddy. <laughs>